Hello everybody, today we're going to be taking a look at the um, the Breath of the Wild sequel trailer from uh, Nintendo E3. Yesterday they announced, it's supposed to be like a creepier version of Breath of the Wild. It seems like, um, well first of all, here's some thoughts that I have on it. If it's been in development since Breath of the Wild came out, then they're, you know, they've obviously been putting a lot into it. And if it's made in the same engine as Breath of the Wild, and it's using the same overworld, here's what I think. If it's using the same overworld, it's going to take, like, no time at all, because the DLC took barely any time for them to make, and it was just using the same world, the same assets, the same everything. Um, but if they're making an entirely new overworld, using the same engine, of course, it's going to take a little bit less time. But Or if they're making completely new assets, they have all new uh, enemies, all new environments, surroundings, you know, everything, even game mechanics or physics. Um... It's going to take a little bit longer to make, and the fact that it's been two years and they're just releasing a trailer now kind of begs the question, are they actually going to be making a different overworld? Uh, so let's just get right into it and play the trailer. I'm, I'm pretty excited for this. I don't know about you guys, but, you know. So right away we have some of these squiggly blue-looking things here. Um, my thought is you can kind of see the colors here. These are like, this This right away, when I first saw this, this reminded me of Twilight Princess. That was my first thought, because uh, Twilight Princess, the main colors in that game were like this green, like blue tealish color, and Breath of the Wild had sort of a, a blue theme to it. You know, Link's tunic was blue, the Guardians were all blue, the Sheikah, everything was blue, and red was bad. Um, so this is sort of like a greenish blue. This all, This immediately reminded me of Twilight Princess. When I saw this, I thought it was going to be like a Twilight Princess related. Um, so, so the, what we have here is there's like music reversing now. Um, this, people have speculated this is underneath Hyrule Castle. We have some like rocks pointing towards the center of whatever this thing is here. Uh, this looks like a figure. Later on, we're going to see that this is actually Ganondorf, but there's a hand holding his chest and coming out of this hand is like this wispy life source kind of thing. Um, this is green, and it sort of gets more teal and turns into that blue color that we saw in Twilight Princess. And there seems to be some sort of malice that's, like, coming down to the bottom and growing out here. Malice, as we know, belonged to Calamity Ganon in the last game. And this right here kind of... When I saw this, it kind of looked like the um, Master Sword pedestal kind of area. Um, if this is Ganondorf, maybe this is an extension on Wind Waker, where Link killed Ganondorf by turning him into, into stone, stabbing the sword into his forehead. Um... As we know in previous Zelda games, Ganondorf has been locked away with the Master Sword. Uh, this up here is some Sheikah technology that we that we see. Um, I'm going to say, I don't know exactly what this is, but it kind of looks like Sheikah technology. And if there's Malice coming out of it, and there's like a circular sort of like ancient vibe to this, this, this is probably Sheikah right here, this, this whole thing. Uh, like I said, this is underneath the castle, so it wouldn't surprise me. Um, this here... This is just some sort of life source, so this kind of reminds me of the Korok Forest, but we're just going to go ahead. Um, Alright, here, this for sure is Ganondorf, I can guarantee you. Right here we have his signature trident. Um, when I first saw this, I, I looked at the trident, I, it was a dead giveaway, this is Ganondorf. Uh, I don't know what's going on down here, but we see this is his horse, these are his red eyes, and his red flowing hair. Um, this almost looks like the Wind Waker hieroglyphs. I don't know exactly if you can tell, but that's what I'm seeing. So we got Ganondorf on the wall. Now we have the Malice spiraling downwards, or the uh, the Life Force sort of thing spiraling downwards. We have a rat over here. Uh, this might... I don't know if we had rats in Breath of the Wild. I can. I think I recall seeing one. But uh, we got a rat there, and these are some sort of blue glowing crystals. This almost reminds me of the, uh, the, the blue colors in Twilight Princess. Uh, we got... Some carved in stone areas. This kind of reminds me of Arbiter's Ground from uh, Twilight Princess. Uh, a lot of carvings. These the, the square carvings kind of resemble the clock town walls from Majora's Mask. We have a, like a bull kind of animal here. And of course we have Zelda. And um, we got Link over here too. So. Uh, so Zelda is like looking down at these rocks. So it looks like Link and Zelda are exploring underneath the castle. For whatever reason, they have wood, they, it, it, they're they camping, they're going on a journey. So maybe the underside of the castle is all packed full of things, because if they're leaving from the castle, 
they're not going to pack a whole bunch if they're just going underneath the castle just to explore, you know. They're not going to need firewood, an axe, a sleeping bag, all this packed up stuff, or an animal, you know. Um, so now they're investigating this. This is Ganondorf. This hand, when I first saw this hand, it reminded me of Midna's hand from Twilight Princess. Uh, very, very interesting. Maybe the, it seems like the, the force that, like the curse that was put on Midna that made her turn into the imp. It made her hand, her hair turn into a hand. It took away her actual form as the Twilight Princess and turned her into the imp. Um, this hand, maybe that's like a resemblance of that curse. Maybe that's a remnant of her. Like I said, with the blue, this might be a good version of her from Twilight Princess because we have... Um, once she turned back into the adult, you know, as we know, there's the red is the bad and the blue is the good. We learned that from Twilight Princess. So this is Ganondorf being held here. Uh, maybe this hand is what, you know, what killed him here or, or what's keeping him held there. Uh, the malice, like I said, is going into him, maybe because something's going on or going on down here, or maybe because this hand is either resurrecting or having trouble keeping him at bay. Um, so we see Link's got the Hylian hood on, Zelda's got some sort of robe on, she's cut her hair, which is pretty interesting. So it shows that this is definitely after Breath of the Wild. You know, it'll say it's a sequel later, but, you know. Um, so we got more blue rocks, more stuff, it looks like this was like a chamber of some sort. Zelda, Link, uh, the, this bull-looking thing, they're all taking a rest. Um, so they've obviously been traveling for a while, or they're gonna be traveling because... You know, or, or they know that there's water under here or something, because why would they be drinking if, you know, they haven't been on the road for a while? Um, there's the mouse, and here we go. Here's the malice coming into play. Let me just turn up the quality here. Um, we have the malice coming in, chasing the rat away. Um, this is red, so it's obviously bad. It's got the pink sort of tint to it, like from, um, from Breath of the Wild. Here we have giant blue rocks. These look like the luminous stones from um, Breath of the Wild. Now this is interesting here because this reminds me a lot of the um, the temple from from Skyward Sword, the uh, Skyview Temple. How there's lots of bridges with pillars in the middle, um, the the glowing scene, the mushrooms. I mean the mushrooms aren't here, but they're still the glowing blue luminous stones. Uh, this is a very large bridge. Uh, I don't know. This looks like Hyrule technology, not Sheikah technology. And they're on top of the bridge. Uh, they're just kind of standing there, looking around. So here's another shot of the body being held by this hand. Uh, all the stones pointing inwards towards it. Uh, another thing is... Well, actually, you know what? We'll go back and look at that earlier or later. But we have here, we have Gerudo symbols. Uh, this, this looks like the uh, suspended... Chica guys um, that we saw in the shrines. So he's got lots of rings on him. Okay, so a lot's happening right here. So what we have here is Ganondorf being held. You can tell it's Ganondorf. You know, he's got the Gerudo symbols on him. He's got the the red gem in his head, which is now glowing. Um, he's got the fe he's got the the teeth, the fang teeth. This is this is for sure Ganondorf. Now this looks like it's holding the malice from getting inside of him. This, this, he's got his signature, like, screaming face from Ocarina of Time that we saw. His hands are up in the air. Um, this, this looks like the Twilight stuff right here. This is definitely, I feel like this game is going to be linked to Twilight Princess a lot. Um, so, yeah, th that's what I think this is. This is holding the mouse from getting to him. Uh... So what we have right there was, it looked like Link was, let me just go back to this, Link got this on him somehow? Yeah, here we go. Put this at 0.25 normal speed. So we got, so that starts shaking. So this hand is now going on to Link. Um, I watched a video where they suggested this might be the new, like, item that we use. Instead of the Sheikah Slate, we're using like the hand thing. Um, there's going to be... Uh, it, just, it looks like it's almost attacking him, or maybe doing something, you know. Um, he's obviously surprised or something by this. Um, all the power seems to be absorbed into him. 
and now we see there is no more of the green swirly thing. Uh, these are glowing red, this rock right here. I don't know what that necessarily means, but all of the malice now is shooting upwards from that spike that we saw, perhaps coming from Ganondorf, I don't know. Um, this is Link grabbing Zelda's hand. Maybe they fell or something. This here kind of looks like the Stone Tower Temple. That's what I thought when I saw this. Stone Tower Temple from Majora's Mask. Um, I don't know what this is up here. I also thought this might have been the Arbiter's Grounds or maybe the Spirit Temple. Um, just it. I, I forget where this is in Breath of the Wild, but there's definitely a place that looks like this. I think it's one of the entrances to the springs where you have to go down into a valley or a canyon and um, enter in through one of these doors. It was the one that had all the flying guardians and you had to like parkour your way through it. I don't know. So you're going inside now. So now this hand is grabbing what appears to be either Link or Zelda's hand. So if, if Link, if Link and Zelda are locking arms and this thing is grabbing Link's arm, this thing is, is saving Link and Zelda. It's saving both of them. It seems like they fell down somewhere. Maybe they fell off the bridge that they were standing on. And now they're kind of hanging. Like there's going to be the hand holding here, Link, and then Zelda. Or, or maybe Zelda and then Link. I don't know. But they're definitely... This thing is holding them up. And it's golden and white. And it's definitely a good entity. So that thing's holding them now. So now we see this thing is back. This swirling force is back upwards again. So maybe this is a shot from earlier. Because the hand is here now. The hand is still here. But it doesn't look like there's anything it's holding. Okay. That's a shot right there. So we have the hand here. Um, there's some sort of lightning striking or some sort of light source. This is Ganondorf here. His hands are up. He's still in that same position. The life force thing is going upwards. And it looks like... Well, his hair is going backwards. He's still in that same position. Um, this hand here is on him, but in the silhouette over here, it looks like it's not on him. So maybe it's supposed to represent like he's coming. He, he's not. He's like disconnecting from it. Uh, here's some of the pillars again. I don't know what these necessarily mean, but um, yeah. So now. The ground is rumbling, there's Zelda, there's Link. Okay, okay, that was interesting right there. So now we know... Something caused the ground to rumble and Zelda fell. So it looks like maybe Ganondorf and the hand are up here. Because Zelda falls, Link's gonna grab her arm in that shot that we saw before. And that thing's gonna grab Link's arm. So... It's saving all three of them. So she's the one who fell first. You can see him turn around. Now Zelda's looking at, at his hand. Okay, that... Did his hand just move? It looked like it just moved there. Yeah, yeah. His fingers moved. So he's coming back to life. So he's the one who's causing the floor to fall, Zelda to fall, Link to grab her arm, and that thing to grab Link's arm. So he is moving now. Zelda turns around in her usual way. Ganondorf moves. So, Ganondorf is awake. I don't know if this is him, or if this is a possessed, like, puppet form of him. You can see that he's got the Gerudo, the Gerudo earrings on, or whatever these are. But yeah, he's back. Um... This, it looks like it's sort of a puppet or like a ghastly form, maybe a Phantom Ganon. These are definitely the Malice Eyes that we saw in Breath of the Wild. The eyes that you have to kill to get to the Malice things. I don't know what design this game is from. I think maybe they're just doing a whole different uh, mashup of all the different games just to keep it open. So now I'm going to change it back to normal speed. Um, so we see this is the same world that we know. There's Hyrule, or there's um, Death Mountain. And the castle is going upwards. So, so the castle went upwards. So what we saw was Zelda and Link went down into the bottom of Hyrule Castle. There's your Legend of Zelda Breath of the Wild Zone development. Um, 
I'm just going to go back to this uh, picture again in here. I think it was at like 47 or something. Um, whatever, I'll just stay here. So we saw they went down to investigate something. Ganondorf is back to life, and the castle is rising up. And Zelda falls, so they're on the brink of death here. Um, in, I'm just going to try and com like compare this to other games. So this is obviously creeper than creeper creepier than breath of the wild um maybe in the same vein as majora's mask was like a creepy sequel to ocarina of time uh it seems like that's what they're trying to do because people have been calling for another unsettling creepy zelda game for a long time ever since twilight princess came out um this i don't know this seems like it's going to fulfill that of course they put in a cheesy sound effect just to like you know enhance the, the fact that this is going to be a creepy game uh I don't necessarily know like where this is going to take, what this is going to relate to as far as other games go, because Breath of the Wild gave us a lot from other games. This seems like it's giving us a lot from Twilight Princess and Majora's Mask, which if you know the Zelda timeline, it, uh, it's in the hero saying as a child, hero going back, warning Zelda about Ganon, and then he gets killed. Um, they never... So we see Ganondorf get killed in... Um, we see him get killed in Ocarina of Time. Like, well, he gets... Uh, Link slays Ganondorf, and then um, Wind Waker Link ends up sealing him away, turning him into stone. So I feel like this isn't going to be that. Um, we What we have is in Ocarina of Time, where Link goes back and warns Zelda ahead of time, the Sheikah never disband the tribe, so maybe they use their technology to preserve his body um, and seal him away. As he goes off into Majora's Mask, people say that he dies, but I honestly think in Majora's Mask he goes to, like, basically the Dark World. I don't know. Uh, another thing is that we see all these different alternate worlds, like Hollow Drum, uh, the Dark World, uh, Low Rule, we have ter uh, Termina, all of these different... Uh, in the Twilight Realm, too. We have all of these different worlds. I feel like they might be either one and the same, or they're all separate entities. Like, they're all separate worlds. Um... Who knows what? Who knows what the Zelda multiverse or universe or whatever it is looks like? Maybe it's just binary. Maybe it's mm, a lot of worlds. I have no idea. Uh, this looks like for me. My prediction is this game's been in development for a while. If they're using the same engine, it's going to be a little bit faster. Obviously, they're using the same engine uh, and then some of the same assets because why not? It's a Zelda Switch game. They already have a Zelda Switch game that can, you know, their their engine for that can do a lot. Uh, it seems like they're going to be adding some new stuff, but I feel like this might have to do a lot with the Dark World. I don't know why, but, like, Ganon, Ganondorf, he does, like, I don't, I don't know how, like, how they're going to do it. It's just, it seems like this might call back to uh, Twilight Princess a little bit, because he was executed and sent to the Twilight Realm, he came back, and then Link, Link kills him at the end of Twilight Princess. Uh, and that, he, his, he still has the red hair in that. Um, his form in those games, in Ocarina of Time, Ganondorf's hair is relatively short. In Twilight Princess, his hair is a little bit longer, so it would make sense that in uh, Breath of the Wild, coming after Majora's Mask and Twilight Princess, that his hair would be a lot longer. I don't know. Um, it's just, it's just interesting to seeing how this would connect in with the other games, because if they're going to make a dark and scary Zelda game, they may as well just tie it in with the other ones that are dark and scary. And like I said, uh, the hero going back and warning Zelda as a kid was the child the child timeline. Um, that that was a whole dark and scary like timeline, I guess. The George Mask was a creepy game. Twilight Princess was a creepy game. And I feel like Breath of the Wild falls underneath the the child timeline. I don't know if. Nintendo's confirmed that or not. I think they said it. it's just like the end of all three of the timelines. But just all, the fact that none of this stuff is like, it's not in order in the trailer, it, you kind of have to make sense of it. And I feel like they might have done that on purpose just to kind of confuse you because all the information is there. You just have to look deep into it. Um, I don't know. It's just very interesting. Uh, but yeah, that's all I have to say about this. Uh, thank you guys for watching. I know this is a little bit of a different video, and I know my microphone isn't the best, but I don't know. Let me know what you guys think in the comments. Uh, it was really cool. When this came out, I was super excited. I was like, Breath of the Wild 2? No way. Like, that seems like just a joke, you know? But 
we'll just have to see what, what comes of it, I guess. So thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.